If you want to improve your German language or want to pass a German exam, then you must learn the concept of Hauptsatz and Nebensatz. In this video, I am going to explain the concept of Hauptsatz and Nebensatz in a simple and easy way. By the end of this video, you will have a complete understanding of what is a Hauptsatz and what is a Nebensatz. You will know about the sentence structure of a Hauptsatz and a Nebensatz and you will be able to make complex sentences using both a Hauptsatz and a Nebensatz. So let's start. Hauptsatz and Nebensatz are the basic concepts of German language. Learning these concepts will help you understand the German sentence structure, pass the German language exams, create complex sentences, and understand other concepts, for example, conjunctions. So what is a Hauptsatz? A Hauptsatz is also called a main clause or independent clause in English. It is a sentence which can express a complete meaning without any additional information. Let's take an example. Ich lerne Deutsch. I learn German. Let's take another example. Ich komme heute nicht ins Büro. I will not come to office today. These sentences convey a complete meaning and do not leave the reader with incomplete information. Another important characteristic to remember about Hauptsatz is that in a Hauptsatz, the verb always comes at the second position. As we have seen in the examples that the main verb Lerne and Komme are both at the second position. Now let's understand the concept of Nebensatz and after that we will combine the two to make some complex sentences. So a Nebensatz is also called a dependent clause or subordinate clause in English. A Nebensatz depends on a Hauptsatz for its meaning and it will always come together with a Hauptsatz. It is used to further explain the Hauptsatz. If a Nebensatz is used without a Hauptsatz, then it provides incomplete information to the reader. Let's take an example of a Nebensatz. Weil ich in Deutschland wohne. Because I live in Germany. Another example. Weil ich kein Auto habe. Because I don't have a car. Now after reading these sentences, a question comes to mind. What are the consequences of not having a car? Or what is the consequence if you live in Germany? So these are the questions which are left unanswered when we use the Nebensatz alone. This is the reason why a Nebensatz always comes with a Hauptsatz. Another important characteristic of a Nebensatz is that in a Nebensatz, the verb goes to the end or at the last position. This can be seen in both the examples. Another important thing to remember about Nebensatz is that it usually starts with a conjunction. In this case, the conjunction is while. What are conjunctions? I will explain these in a minute. Now we have understood what is a Hauptsatz and what is a Nebensatz. So let us combine both of them to make a sentence. Ich lerne Deutsch, weil ich in Deutschland wohne. I learn German because I live in Germany. Another example. Ich komme heute nicht ins Büro, weil ich kein Auto habe. Now we see how the Hauptsatz and the Nebensatz come together to form a complete sentence and how the Nebensatz adds to the meaning of the Hauptsatz. Let's analyze the different parts of this sentence. So the first part, Ich lerne Deutsch, is the Hauptsatz. Weil is the conjunction here. A conjunction is a word which connects two sentences. The second part, Weil ich in Deutschland wohne, is the Nebensatz. Another important thing that you see in the examples is that the Hauptsatz and Nebensatz are always separated by a comma. Now let's do a recap of the concepts that we have learned. So a Hauptsatz is a sentence which can stand on its own. A Nebensatz is a sentence which always needs a Hauptsatz and cannot stand on its own. In a Hauptsatz, the verb always comes at the second position. In a Nebensatz, the verb goes to the last position. A Hauptsatz does not contain a conjunction, whereas a Nebensatz usually starts with a conjunction. Example of Hauptsatz Ich komme heute nicht ins Büro Example of Nebensatz Weil ich kein Auto habe 
and together they make the sentence Ich komme heute nicht ins Büro, weil ich kein Auto habe. So this was the concept of a Hauptsatz and a Nebensatz. I hope this video was helpful for you. I have also prepared a workbook for you to practice the concept of Nebensatz and Hauptsatz. You can download the workbook from the link in the description below. If you have any other questions, please let me know in the comments below. I will be making other videos explaining other different concepts of German. So please subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any of these videos. Thank you very much and have a great day.